How do you solve this problem? Well, you can see in this fraction that you have the same base in the top and in the bottom. So that means that you can rewrite this as x squared minus y squared, and with the base of 2, and we know this is 1 over 8. Now, you know what this is, that it's a difference of squares. So we can rewrite this as 2 to the x plus y times the conjugate. And this is going to be the same as 1 over 8. Now, what can we do here? Well, we know x plus y is going to be negative 3. So we can rewrite this entire thing as uh, 2 minus 3 times x minus y. This is the same as 1 over 8. Now, something we can do is we know there is a negative 1 in there. So we can just simply focus on the 2, -third, on the two to the third power and then leave the negative 1 with the x minus y. So that would look like this. 2 to the third power, and now this to the minus x, uh, x minus y. And this is the same as 1 over 8. And now what can we do here? Well, we know this is going to be 8, and this is going to be 8 to the x minus y power, and all of these to the negative 1. Now we can switch this fraction, and we will get 1 over 8 to the x minus y is the same as 1 over 8. Now, if we want to find x minus y, the only thing we need to do is to see the exponent that we have up here. Um, we know that it's just simply 1 because we have 8 to nothing and that's just 1. So that means that x minus y is equal to 1. And this is the answer we're looking for.